What is going on guys, welcome back to Starfield, we're continuing where we left off in the last one. So, um, let's head off of our planet here, I don't think we've got any more contraband left in our inventory, let's just double check before we start jumping around and going, oh no, we still got loads. Um, <laughs> let's take a misc. Don't we seem to be good, um... Only other one will be aid, but okay, I think we're good to go. Right, get out of here, shall we? Let's continue with um, our Andres's quest line. I think our ship might need a little bit of repair. Did get into a bit of a fight recently. Alright, let's repair. Let's use the ship repair on it. Should repair Barely us. Unknown vessel. Colonists here in distress. We could really use your help. We're unarmed. Oh, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with uh list and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's given up the ghost. Uh, so you're stranded in uh, this system then. Um, uh, so you're stranded in the system then? And we're just two jumps away from starting a new life. We have a workbench here. But we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. Um. Uh, what's exactly wrong with your grav drive? It's just dead. The whole unit is like a brick now. No power readouts, the diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know those old Russian letters? <laughs> There's your problem. Um, unfortunately, I don't have 20 iron on me. Um, which is a little sad, I wish I could help. If you can find or buy some iron, it's not like we're going anywhere. Thank you. I, I'm pretty sure I have iron somewhere. Um, actually, I have it back on on our base. Um, you know what? I can grab twenty iron for them. I can do this. Um, I'm not sure if um if we can come back or not. Oh, hold on. Twenty iron she needs. Um. I'm pretty sure I can get 20 iron relatively quickly for her. I'm pretty sure I've got 20 iron here on base. Let's see if we can help somebody. Suit seals look good. Out we go. Uh, technically, this will be free iron too. Um. Actually. Not here. Around the back. Over here. This is where I stole my iron. In this uh, container right here. There we go. Should have 20 iron there on me now. Twenty iron.
All right, let's go see if we can go help him. Did we need to grab a hold of that? It should be enough to help them out. More than enough. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. I think this is technically free iron for me, so um, whatever credits to give me, it's it's free credits. So hopefully it can help. Alright, let's take back off. Yet again, this game, yet again, making me go on wild goose ta chases and we have going down random paths, which I thought I wouldn't be doing, but hey. Just taking off from this planet, we should see them again straight away. A little bit of a cough as well. Been out in the cold. Uh... That's them there, maybe. Tell them. Glad to hear from you again. Did you bring the iron we talked about? We'll need loads of it to jury rig our repairs. Um, give twenty iron. Uh, you're in luck. I have the iron you needed. That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. No worries at all. Thank you for trading with us. I think I've still got some iron left over, actually. Um, yeah, I have three left. Um, can we transfer that to our ship's hull? Good look out there. Some easy credits, I would say. Right, on to our mission. Jump. Here we go. I'm going to the wolf system. I think it's actually a real system too. Actually, I think a lot of these systems are actually real. Anyway, this is where we're going right here. The den. Let's uh, just increase our... Uh, Hail the den. The den responding to hail. You are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. Ah, it's UC Space, eh? Alright. Let's go dock at the den. We'll be on 500 meters of it, though, to dock. There we go. In the hour burn. Cool. Let's go say hi. Hopefully she's not in the way. Yeah, she's in the way. You're in the way. Seems to be a common occurrence on board this ship right now. I'm all ears. We're getting in our way. I find the interior of this ship comforting. All right, let's go try and find who we're looking for. There she is here. All right. Have a chat with this lady here. Yeah. I think we've been here before. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den, Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. Good to see another Vanguard pilot. You assigned here or just passing through? Um. Just taking a look around. Right. Okay. Good. Wasn't True, afraid I got another before. transfer without any warning. Nothing against you personally, of course. 
I'd just like to know who I'm responsible for before they show up on my doorstep. You need anything? Say the word. We're short on luxuries here, but for a fellow vanguard, I'll do what I can to help. I'm 100% sure we've uh, actually spoken to her before. Um, uh, what does the vanguard do here? The same thing we do everywhere else. Fill in the gaps for the UC Navy. Help keep the settled systems peaceful and safe. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge all the way out here, but we try our best. I wouldn't mind a little more support from New Atlantis, but I know things are tough all over. Hey, you see a lot of action around here? Might be counterintuitive, but no. No, we don't. It's pretty quiet, and some of us deal with that better than others. We get the occasional distress call. Sometimes Varun stirs up trouble, but there's a lot of downtime. I'm not complaining, but others, like Bastion there, it's not what he was expecting. Certainly not what he wanted. Um, has the Vanguard always used uh, this as a uh, base of operations? Oh, gosh, no. Vanguard wasn't even a thought back when this place was first built. The Den, the original Den, mind you, got blown up during the Serpent's Crusade. UC Navy immediately rebuilt a station, I think largely out of spite. Sometimes <laughs> I think that's why they keep it operational, too. Certainly hasn't had much real purpose since the Colony War ended. I'm glad we have it as a post, and Marcel and the Trade Authority do some decent business, which I try very hard not to pay attention to. But the station has never recaptured that old glory. Don't think it ever will, really. It'll probably um, be a good strategic outpost. That's probably why they're keeping it around, to be fair. If not, they'll probably just... Well, if I was anybody, military or anything like that, I would end up just assembling it or giving it away or moving it or whatever. Um, anyway, this is the person I'm looking for. Huang? Really? There are at least three other pilots based out of here I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while, okay? Now, what is the nature of your complaint? Um, I'm not here uh, to complain. I just need to talk to her. Um, this is... Uh, it's urgent that I find her as soon as possible. Um, there's nothing to do with the Vanguard. It's personal. Um... You get a lot of complaints about your pilots. Look, this isn't Alpha Centauri or anything. We're a bit removed from the center of the United Colonies. Folks out here are a little less receptive to the Vanguard keeping an eye on things. Um, it's nothing to do with the Vanguard, it's personal. Um, let's go with that. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a relief. Jada isn't here. Hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's... Well, she's following up on some sensitive information. Um... Uh... I'm not sure I should disclose any more than that. Um... Uh, what if I said I already know uh, she's uh, hunting down... Uh, yeah. Then I'd probably just be wondering how you have any information at all. And I might even be more concerned about your intentions. Um. Let's try and persuade. It's not something I can just blurt out. Uh, I'm sure can we work some out. Uh, I promise. Um, this is between us. Um, you seem to understand. Um. Promise this is just between us. Maybe. Need to think about it. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't so important. Maybe I can make an exception. Well, this is important. Lives depend on it. Let's go with that. Hopefully it won't go backwards. Hard to argue with that. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Jada came in a bit ago, all fired up over some hot lead. 
She's been focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble. Thank you. Fly safe. All right. We've got information. She doesn't want to talk to us. Anyway, let's go. She can walk away as much as she wants. It's good We're gonna to go track it down. I can't wait until we get a bigger ship. Well, I, I can and can't because they're uh, climbing up to the bridge. Well, in, in our bigger ship, it's going to be a hell of a lot bigger task. <laughs> but, uh, right, let's go find her, shall we? Oh, it's undock. Ships detached. We're clear. All right, let's go there then. And it looks like it's a bit of space we haven't been to before, so let's um, plan our uh, route, shall we? And explode. I think what we'll have to probably do then is head here. So we can jump there. Let's go there first then. There we go. Grab jump is spilling out. Alright, let's try and jump to where we need to get to now. Very easy. A little bit too easy to be fair. Good fight. Just try and grab these um this loot and then we'll uh, we'll jump on back out. Crimson Fleet though, we're still finding random remnants of the Crimson Fleet. Which doesn't surprise me to be honest. You should know by now the Shimpeconos, we took them down already once before. They should all be scared of the Mantis as well, but so much ship parts from that as well. Let's jump. Back on course. I'm gonna say we've been going for almost 20 minutes now. We've barely got anywhere. Um, I need to talk to you in person. Um, I'm here with, uh, 
Uh, what are you doing here? I was setting up an ambush, but odds are that you've blown it. And my question still stands. What the hell do you think you're doing? Um, we need to talk in person. I don't know you, and we don't have anything to talk about. You are interfering with an official Vanguard operation, so I'm going to need you to vacate this orbit immediately. <sighs> Shit! I've got multiple ships inbound. Too late to run. Sure hope you're prepared for a fight. Oh, I'm prepared. Wow, they jumped straight and went straight for the money, hey? I was trying to make up what happened years ago. Um, Ten years after the fact? With nothing in between? You'll have to forgive me if I find that hard to believe. Suspicious, even. <sighs> Look, my grab drive is fried. I need time to repair, if I can even manage it. You didn't take the opportunity to blow me up. So either that's not your goal, or you're playing some long game. You want to explain yourself? I can't stop you from coming over here. But I'm gonna be armed, and it's gonna be aimed at her head. Just so we're all clear. Alright, first things first, let's, um, let's grab the, um, the loot from the ships we've just decided to, um, well... Well, you know, make go boom. <laughs> Why is you not going to doing too bad for speed, considering the size of the ship and everything? How much power we've got currently into thrust? All right, let's go dock. We're on a collision course there as well. Alright, let's go over. Let's go say hello. We're also UC Vanguard, so... How may I serve you? I'm up for a little adventure. You can't open fire in another UC Vanguard, right? It's bored. Go say hello. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? First, we're going to go say hi to her. Uh, I guess that's our ship up there, yeah. Right, go say hello. Hello there. How? How can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... if this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up, killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? <laughs> backup dancer. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. And this all just calm down. Um... We're here to talk. Um, I 
Yeah, we're just here to talk. Yeah? Well, we're talking. How do you think that's going so far? What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Uh, I've been looking for anyone who survived uh, the ambush for years. Um, Andrea was worried about you. Um, let's go with that. Worried? Worried she hadn't finished me off, maybe. I knew it was only a matter of time. What are you talking about? I have never acted against you. You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <laughs> told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen. Uh, if you're sure of this, then let's see the proof convince us. Um... Uh, you were both working for House of Room. Why would uh, they want to kill you? Um, because we were a loose end. We knew things, locations, names. They never trusted us. We were just a mess that needed cleaning up. Um, if you're so sure of this, then let's see the proof. Uh, convince us. I, I don't have. It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada. I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. You think you've won, do you? That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! Alright, return to your ship and let's go take him down. Hopefully it is. I smile today in the knowledge that the great serpent has truly blessed my ship and my crew. They have delivered unto me the dregs of our purge years ago. The awful that escaped our righteous justice. Should we get some ground? Pathetic high council. Who betrayed the charge laid upon them by the great serpent. Let's go talk to her. The guy was easily taken out. Come out fairly quickly, to be fair. Let's go talk to her. Oops, looks like she's having dinner. I. We attempt to have dinner. Understand. 
It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Uh, he seemed pretty sure of himself, um, so he let's go ask the High Council. Uh, he seemed pretty sure of himself. Zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Varun in the most hostile way possible and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions. Does not make them correct. Something about this does, does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. <laughs> I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. Um, they can't force um, you to stay away forever. Um, hell with their rules. I'm sure they'd make an exception um, to clear this up. And they can't force you to stay away forever. Maybe not forever, but certainly until our mission has been accomplished. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Varun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home. Unless I am permitted. Since it could be used, uh, there must be some other way. We'll get past this. Um, there must be some other way. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But... It means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Yeah, there's been plenty of danger so far. Uh, I signed on for this no matter what. Um, I don't have anything else to do today anyway. Um, um, I signed on for this no matter what. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. Right, let's travel to the station, shall we? The greatest explorer in the settled systems. Well, they should. at least we know she's safe anywhere. Here we go, we're jumping. Station UCN 48 and we're getting no hills. Increase our speed. Look quite far out. It's actually quite a big station. Just go ahead and dock. There's nobody's receiving our hills, so let's just dock and see what we can find. We did say it's derelict. Ship is now on dock. All right, Perfect. let's go have a look. Didn't even smudge the paint. You need something? Yes. Nope, she's moved. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. 
Say the word, and we shall be on our way. All right, follow me. I will say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both. I need you to trust me. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. They were abandoned when peace was broken. They are an excellent place to hide in plain sight. I want to loot, but... Talk to her. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. Um... I'm not gonna do whatever it takes uh, to protect us. Um, okay, I trust you. Um, what are we walking into here? This is the only place I can get answers. The only connection I have to House Barun. Please give me a moment. Hidden panel? Okay. This is now look, no longer looks deserted. Hidden rooms and all that. Interesting. I don't see anybody yet. I see loot though. I want. I want it a lot. I might spend the rest of the day just looting this place. I see somebody up there. I see humans. Yeah, he doesn't seem too happy that we're here. But he's gonna have to like it, I'll lump it. We're here. Looks like it's just one guy here. I am not the one who needs to explain himself, Tommy Sar. I am surprised by your tone. It has gotten into you. This is very unlike you. Almost. It's right. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I sent you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me. To the zealots. To the fanatics who murdered my friends. Who tried to murder me. You must be mistaken. Or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tommy Sar. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. It sounds like you're the one uh, who's been lying to her. Um, I'm just here for the fireworks, pal. <laughs> um, it sounds like, yeah, you're the one who's been lying to her. You know nothing of it. I said enough. 
This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. Uh, she looks ready to kill you. Um, uh, you're in a pretty bad position here. Uh, maybe uh, being a little more honest would help. Um, uh, you think you can just keep lying? Uh, do you think you can just keep lying? I have already said this is a misunderstanding. Um, she looks ready to kill you. No, please. If you let Andreja hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council, to House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything. I heard you. I know what it costs me. But he deserves it. Does he not? Um, if you do this, uh, there are consequences. Um, and no one else needs to die right now. Um, isn't there some other way? Isn't there some other way? I do not know. Maybe. Maybe if the High Council sees what he has done. Uh, no one else needs to die right now. He gave my friends to the Zealots. Might as well have killed them himself. How does that not warrant justice? I think you should but listen to him. The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this... I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do. I give your friends the... Um... Um, he's not worth it. Um, you would lose uh, too much. I want to so badly. I do not know how to live with this. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over. The High Council will hear of your treason. Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tommy Sar. Think on that. Come. Let us leave this place. I wish to return to the Lodge. You will regret this! First things first. I'm taking this. I'm taking this loot. Screw this guy. Screw you. I'm taking your loot. I'm looting this place. The novice lock. Sure, why not? Novice is easy. Only two. Oh, I've already hacked it. Quite easily, to be fair. Just from being a prick, I'm taking all of his, uh... All of his good stuff. <laughs> there will be consequences for your actions here. I assure you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Take all of the loot as we leave. Let's see if there's anything down here. Not really. Nothing down there worth taking. Let's leave this place. She wants to return to the lodge. First things first. I did see loot in here. Oh great, some more contraband, which we're going to have to take. See, we we're going to have to take, but I want it. Take all of that. Take that. Take those. I think that's everything other than this safe here. Take those as well. Oh, it's an expert lock. We've got plenty of lock picks for this, so let's do this as well. Okay, they're the bottom rows only. Top and bottom. And that can't be used on any row. Okay then, let's uh, figure this thing out, shall we? So that's bottom row. Okay, that would go there at least, right. Um... Let's figure out these if we can. One's going to be the same. Okay, that one can go there. That's actually pretty easy to uh, hack. Nothing too great in it though. Did you fix here? Let's put this here. It's another. It's advanced lock, so I think advanced only two, right? Yeah. This one can only be used on the top, so I think there. Oh, I screwed up. Um, we're going to have to do an undo. Right, okay, let's try and figure this thing out. Um, so this one can be used on top or bottom. That one can only be used on that one. This one can only be used on that one raw. That one there knocks everything out though, that's the thing. Here we go. Right, now all we need to do is figure out this one. That one will go nicely in there. Mm. 
There you go. Wish that did you pick that, but that's all right. All right, I think that's everything. All right, let's leave. Loot in here, and then we'll uh, we'll leave, leave. I really want to loot this place, but I don't want to at the same time. That's what I think it's all just crap anyway. I think all the good stuff is probably in there actually. I think I'm looking around here for like weapons and stuff like that, and I'm not seeing anything great. Looks like it was a control room at one point. Yeah, no, let's just go. I'm not interested. I think it's being picked clean anyway. Explains why he didn't answer the hill when I hailed him. Where are we actually going here? We're actually going to... Yeah, we're going to... We're going to go to the lodge. So, first things first, let's undock. I heard that you're so fast, you can run around a planet and sign the back of your own head. We just need to find you. Undock. Let's head back to our planet. And we'll, uh, we'll get rid of the contraband we just picked up. First things first. Oh wow, we're all, all the way near, uh, near Cricks actually. Right, we need to go here. We're going to do quick travel though, I think. Release. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's jump. Let's go drop off our contraband again. We can get a lot of contraband recently. Awful lot of contraband. Set of stars. All right, let's uh, go ahead and land, shall we? Almost on the dear side of this planet. Uh, outpost two is our main landing area. Exploration requires courage, and in this case, a functional suit. <laughs> Don't lie about that. Alright, let's transfer. Uh, so, what did we actually pick up there? I didn't actually read. I think it's all a misc. We pick up stole, uh, three stolen artwork. With quite a lot of stolen artwork. And... For Xeno Warfare Tech. Actually, what contraband do we have in here now then? Oh, so we've got a black market. We've then got one harvested organs. We've then got one of those. We've got nine stolen artwork. Four uh Four of those. We've got eleven Xeno Warfare Tech. I think then we also have um, we also have uh, five um, Aurora. I think that's it actually. Quite a lot of stuff. Take the lane complete. Hey there, go back out. Yeah, I think this actually might be around about where we actually call this episode here, actually. Um, I think we're almost at the... Um, 
almost at the uh, like the episode mark. So I think what we'll do is we'll call it here. We'll continue from here in the next one. But um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far as much as I am. We're now well on our way over 50 episodes right now. We're um we're we're getting close to um episode 55. I think this is episode 54. I think so. Yeah. Next episode, we'll probably end up wrapping up most of her storyline, I think, or progressing a little bit further than we already have. But, um, yeah, I think this has been fun. It's been great uh, hanging around with you guys as well as playing this game. I'm actually really enjoying it still. We're 50 episodes in, and it doesn't feel like we've even touched the surface on a lot of things. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll continue from here in the next one. Um, if you guys are enjoying it, hit the like button. If not, the like button's right next to so Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Mark? <laughs>